Hi there, this is Coach AJ, and you're watching a new episode of Living Fully Fit. If you enjoy the content you're watching, make sure to subscribe down below to receive updates on further content. And also, put a thumbs up in support of the channel. And if you know anyone who could benefit from these videos, past or present, make sure to copy the link and share it with someone that can benefit. These videos really are tailored to help you work and grow in your wellness and health, not only just physically, but spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and relationally. Now, I know I've taken a little bit of a break here on Fully Fit videos and also my Facebook, mainly because it's been the summer and I spent a lot of time with my kids during the summertime. I you know, I have joint custody, so I spent a lot of time just pouring into them. But now that they're back in school and have some free weekends, I'm gonna be making more content for you because honestly life is about balance and I'm a big proponent of balance. But speaking of balance, today's topic is simply this, control. How many of us are guilty of being the control freak? You know who I'm talking about. I'm not talking about looking to the person on the left or right of you or I can name some people right now who are control freaks, I can go point them out. Don't do that. I'm talking about you personally. Are you a control freak? Are you holding on to something so tightly? Are you that kind of person that has to be control of the situation or the event or whatever it is? The thing is that there's a danger there and it's that relational health danger because the more you control, the more you try to control, the more you push people away because that's a toxic relationship. Think about if you came from a toxic relationship, you were with a spouse that controlled the money, that controlled whatever, you know, you can fill in the blank. Controlled what you did, activities, your friends, or whatever. Or maybe, you know, you had a parent who was a very controlling, overbearing, helicopter parent. Those things are toxic. There's no fruit from that. There's only danger. And a lot of times you cut those kind of relationships off for a reason. But the question is, are you that person? Because a lot of times, we are taught these things, we see these things, so we replicate these things. Or also, a lot of times people who are overly controlling is because there's something in their life they have lost control over, so they grasp onto anything and everything they can to have control of something because they have they lost control of something important to them. And a lot of times it boils down to the root of insecurity because it, Secure people who are secure in who they are and what they know and who they are as a person and who they are with their friends and their family don't have to control everything, the environment, the places they go. Now, I've been guilty of this myself. I'm no perfect person. I can't say with an honest face that I've never been a controlling person or been a control freak with situations. I've been that person at work where I can, I'll just do it myself, you know, I'll do a better job than this person. But that's where we have to let go and let people fail and be okay with that. Now granted, certain, certain failures are not okay. But again, like at the workplace, you know, I have to trust my subordinates to do the job. I can't do the job because I, I'll get it done right. I have to teach them, let them learn, let them learn through failure and then reteach and restruct and keep going. If I do everything, I'm gonna get burned out. And it's the same thing for every other situation, your personal, your friendship, your relationships, your intimate relationships especially, you can't control everything. You can't control where you're going, where you're where you go on the date all the time. You can't control how they act. You're only in control of one thing, yourself, how you act, how you respond, how you portray yourself to others. And the more you try to control others and the situations around you, you're gonna push people away every time. And so my challenge to you, as you look at your own personal life, you look at yourself, not others, only point the finger. Because when you point the finger, you have other fingers point back at you, right? You've heard that phrase before? But the reality is, you need to look at yourself. And do I try to control situations? Do I try to control where we're going with my group of friends or my family or what we're doing all the time? Do I try to control how things are done? This is the right way to do it. Well, 
it's the right way for you, that doesn't make it the right way for everyone. Again, look at your own life, how you portray yourself to others, how you express your feelings, how you interact, because again, if people are slowly pulling away, there's a reason why. And if you are, if you find yourself in a place where you're in control, where you're having to kind of put your hand in the end of every cookie jar, that means you're, in, you're trying to be in control again. Let go. Because all you're going to do is burn yourself out. You're going to stress yourself out. And you're going to find yourself in less control than you ever were before. It's okay to let go. There's certain things you have no control over. But the main thing you do have control over is how you act, how you react, how you treat others, and how, again, how you let go. I hope that helps. Because for some of us, we need that. To build a healthy relationships, that fully fit relationship, sometimes we need to let go and just take a step back, reassess, see ourselves through someone else's lens. Anyways, I am Coach AJ, and you just watched another episode of Lean Fully Fit. Take care.